into the thirds. And we'll just have a little bit of rice and beans and some salad and some <coughs> stuff. And we'll hand it out with a little cardboard sign saying food not bombs and uh, see what happens. So sure enough, the police arrest those people. Well, we saved a little bit more food and we can't bring that out. And then we serve that uh, with another little sign. The cops arrest those people. And then while the captain's down at Northern Station going, that's great, you stop food not bombs, way to go. We come out with all the rest of the food and feed everyone that shows up. And this goes on every day where we have uh, lunch and dinner where you get uh, four or five people arrested for each meal. And then we're going, man, we're going to burn out doing this. We need a new idea. So we come up with this idea called risk arrest one day a month with food not bombs. <laughs> so we ask, uh, so the first group to come out is a group of uh, uh, priests and nuns. And they arrest the priests and the nuns. And they pat down the nuns to make sure they don't have guns because you know, nuns and guns are really bad. And then they arrest the teachers union and they arrest the... Uh, the student groups and other peace groups get arrested, and then this group comes and they have this banner and it says "American." Uh, it says "National Lawyers Guild." <laughs> and the cops look at that banner and they're like, "Oh, that does not look right." <laughs> this is very good. So this is about the time you start cutting up an onion. So, uh, so anyway, while while they uh, the cops look at that and they say, "Well, okay, we'll just arrest a couple of people eating and we'll get right out of here." So that's what they do. And uh, so this goes on and on and on. Then on October, you probably, if you were alive in, in Santa Cruz County on the 17th of October, you remember that day. So um, the electricity and the gas uh, um, go out in our, uh, in, in our kitchen. Mm -hmm. And it turns out it goes off everywhere, yeah. even here. And uh, because there's Loma Parade earthquake and uh, the World Series earthquake. So we go, wow, we can't. Uh, keep uh, uh, cooking, so why don't we get the stoves from the tent city protest, from the occupation. We'll go down, finish cooking everything at City Hall. There'll probably be, cops will be very busy with this earthquake, and, uh, and, and we'll just feed, there'll probably be even more people than ever need to feed. <coughs> and sure enough, there was already like hundreds of people waiting for us. So we finished cooking our meal, we get some more, uh, we start getting food deliveries from uh, Rainbow Grocery and stuff because their refrigerators are down. Oh. So now we've got like all this extra food. We go get another pop-up tent to store that. Um, and uh, we're like now this huge line of people gathering and we're busy cooking like crazy and trying to feed people. And then lo and behold, every, it seems like every police vehicle in San Francisco shows up. And uh, all these cops, more than we'd ever seen before, start marching towards us. Like, this is outrageous. It's like only like two hours after this huge earthquake. 